All right, guys, just wanted to do a quick video update and show you that I am working relentlessly on this RoboCop suit, and you're probably looking at it thinking, well, it doesn't look like you're making that much progress, but guys, it's the fine details that count. I'm trying to make this suit even more accurate than the previous suit, especially with this small fine detail here. Uh, as you can see in the left upper thigh, this OCP police 001 although it will look pretty decent finished it is not accurate to the movie in the movie this this uh, plate right here is actually engraved in this design it was outlined I don't know why that was a design choice but that was the design choice so I wanted to up the up my game on this suit and make this even more accurate so I went into Tinkercad and modeled this up so that we have a more accurate plate and now it is engraved just like the movie and I made it so that it just slips right in and it will be glued in like so very cool I'm very happy with it I'm really excited that this suit is going to look even more movie accurate than the previous one uh, another thing I did you guys probably would have never noticed this but this was a detail I noticed these two little pegs right here are actually on the left upper thigh of the RoboCop suit as well. And on my previous suit, I failed to add these into the suit. Don't ask me why. I think I forgot. I'm not sure. But on this suit, we're getting it right. And I added in these two pegs to the left leg. And now we are like getting uber, uber accurate to the movie. So yeah, just a small detail I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you like it. If you're working on the suit, make sure you go this route. It's much better and it's super easy to do. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, so as you can see here with the empty holes of the feet, we need to add in the screw detail. And right here on the front of the feet as well, we got to add in all the screw detail to those empty holes there. So those are all in here in my Ziploc bags not very organized if you could even see them all those little bits and bobs have to be glued in to the feet and then I have a bunch extra for the screw details here as well that we need to add in uh, and get it also looking more like the movie because in the movie they had little socket cap heads that were inside all of these little holes across the various parts of the suit and the upper arms on both of the legs etc so yeah guys that's where we're at I'm gonna finish adding in all those details and then finally we're gonna get to our fiberglassing and then the real intense body work alright guys so I have everything glued in now I didn't want to video any of it because I thought you guys would probably think it's boring me gluing in each little itty bitty screw so there you go that's exactly what you got to do I screwed in all these little I, I printed a bunch of them these little bits and bobs here and they go right in there uh, you'll just have to look at the file and find the right sizes that fit the feet and print as many as needed I can't really remember exactly in the files how many there are but you just make duplicates and you print as many of those as you need I also needed to add in these vents here so I just looked at some reference photos and lined them up and matched them up just right. And you also have to uh, glue on those fuses. I did the same thing, just looked at reference photos. And then there's all the screw detail. Same thing here for the front of the foot. All the screw detail is in now. We'll have to do the other foot, but I'm going to do that off camera. I just wanted to show you guys the progress on that and we'll have to add in all the other screw detail on the arms and legs but yeah guys just kind of wanted to show you what you have to do and the progress i'm making it's looking really good guys and i'm getting super super pumped i can't wait to finish it so thank you guys again for watching we're on to the next one